to our channel. In today's video, we'll dive into the world of ultra-rare Washington quarter-dollar coins. These coins may look like ordinary change, but they're worth a fortune. If you're a collector or just curious about rare coins, stick around to discover the top 10 most valuable Washington quarters and the incredible history behind them. 1980 Washington quarter. But what about the 1980 quarter? Well, the 1980 Washington quarter was struck during a time when the U.S. was producing millions of quarters to meet the demands of everyday commerce. It's part of the copper nickel clad series, which replaced the 90% silver quarters in 1965. So if you were hoping for silver content in your 1980 quarter, unfortunately, it's not there. Dot. Let's break down the design of the 1980 Washington quarter. On the obverse or front side, you have the familiar profile of George Washington designed by John Flanagan. The date, 1980, is at the bottom of the coin. You'll also see the word liberty in the national motto in God we trust. Dot. On the reverse, we've got the classic design of an eagle with wings spread, holding arrows and olive branches, symbolizing strength and peace above the eagle. You'll see the inscription United States of America, and just below that, E pluribus on a meaning out of many, one the denomination quarter dollar is at the bottom. Now let's talk about where these quarters were minted. The 1980 Washington quarter was minted at three different U.S. mint locations, Philadelphia, no mint mark, Denver D mint mark, and San Francisco S mint mark. Here's a quick breakdown of the mintage numbers for each mint. Philadelphia mint over 635 million quarters produced. Denver mint over 518 million quarters produced. San Francisco Mint, these coins were produced as proof coins intended for collectors with around 3.5 million minted. All right, now for the part you've been waiting for, how much is a 1980 Washington quarter worth today? Let's start with circulated quarters, which are the ones you're most likely to find in your change. These are typically worth face value 25 cents unless they're in exceptional condition. However, if you have an uncirculated 1980 Washington quarter or proof coin, you could be looking at a higher value. Uncirculated coins in MS65 condition, which means they're nearly flawless, can sell for $5 to $10 or more. Proof coins from the San Francisco Mint, especially if graded at PR69 or PR70, can go for around $10 to $20. One thing to keep in mind is that errors can increase a coin's value significantly. Some 1980 Washington quarters with missed strikes, off-center errors, or double dies have been known to fetch much higher prices at auctions, sometimes reaching hundreds of dollars depending on the rarity of the error. 1985 Washington Quarter. While the obverse or the head side features the unmistakable bust of Washington, the reverse has gone through changes over the years, but in 1985 it still displayed the American Bald Eagle. Though it was minted in large numbers, the Washington Quarter from 1985 remains a piece of American history. It was struck at three mints Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. The coin features key elements that make it recognizable to any collector or casual observer. Let's talk mint marks. If you take a look under Washington's portrait, you'll find the mint mark. For quarters minted in Philadelphia, there's no mark, so if you don't see one, that's your Philly coin. Coins from Denver have a D, and the San Francisco minted proof coins have an S.A. In terms of production, the numbers were quite high in 1985. Philadelphia minted a whopping 775 million quarters. Denver followed with about 519 million. San Francisco produced around 3.36 million proof quarters primarily intended for collectors. Even though these numbers seem large, not all of these coins hold the same value. Now, let's get into what really matters. How much is your 1985 quarter worth? Well, it depends on a few key factors, condition, rarity, and errors. Coins that have been in circulation for a long time showing signs of wear are worth their face value 25 cents. But if you've got an uncirculated or high-grade coin graded MS65 or above, the value jumps. Uncirculated 1985 Washington quarters can fetch anywhere from $5 to $15, depending on the mint. Keep an eye out for errors. Some 1985 quarters have misprints or die cracks, which can make them significantly more valuable to collectors. One famous error is the off-center strike, where the coin design is misaligned. These can be worth up to $50 or more. Depending on the severity and demand, San Francisco proofs are typically made for collectors, so their value is higher than circulating coins. A 1985 S proof quarter in perfect condition can be worth $3 to $10 depending on the market.so, while most 1985 quarters are only worth their face value. Special cases like high-grade coins and errors can bring in a nice premium. Here are a few quick tips to help you determine if your 1985 quarter is valuable. Check the condition. Is it shiny and free of scratches? If so, you may have an uncirculated coin. Look for mint marks and S mint mark indicates a proof coin, while a missing mint mark means it's from Philadelphia. Respect for errors off center strikes, double dies, or die cracks are all good signs of an error coin. Remember, a small imperfection could mean big bucks, so always give your coins a good once over before dismissing them. 1995 Washington Quarter 
1995 Washington Quarter, while not considered a rare coin, has its own story that adds value for collectors. In 1995, the U.S. Mint was producing coins at three different locations, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. Each of these mints produce Washington Quarters with varying mint marks, which we'll talk more about later. Let's take a closer look at the design of the 1995 Washington Quarter. On the obverse, we see the iconic portrait of George Washington, designed by John Flanagan. This design remained largely unchanged for decades, a testament to its timelessness. At the top, we have the word liberty with the year 1995 placed at the bottom. The phrase in God we trust sits to the left, and the mint mark, depending on where the coin was minted, is located to the right of Washington's neck dot now for the reverse. It features a majestic bald eagle wing spread wide, perched on a bundle of arrows with two olive branches beneath. The words United States of America are inscribed above, and E Pluribus Unum is displayed between the eagle's wings. As mentioned earlier, the 1995 Washington Quarter was minted in three locations, each marked by a different mint mark. Philadelphia Mint No Mint Mark Coins produced in Philadelphia carry no mint mark. These are the most commonly found 1995 quarters. Denver Mint D Mint Mark The Denver Mint produced a significant number of these coins, and you'll find the D Mint Mark on the right side of Washington's neck. San Francisco Mint S Mint Mark now, the S-Mint mark represents proof coins minted in San Francisco. These coins were struck with special care for collectors and are generally more valuable than regular circulation coins. Now, the big question, how much is a 1995 Washington Quarter worth today? While these coins are still in circulation and don't carry the same kind of intrinsic value as silver coins, certain factors can significantly increase their value for collectors. For a standard 1995 quarter in circulated condition, the value is typically around face value 25 cents. However, if you have a coin in uncirculated condition, meaning it's in pristine shape with no wear, its value can range from $1 to $5. Now, the proof coins from the San Francisco Mint, especially if they're still in their original packaging, can be worth between $5 and $15. And if you have a proof coin with a deep cameo finish, the value can go even higher, sometimes up to $25 or more than 1966 Washington quarter. Now, let's fast forward to 1966. This was a turbulent time in U.S. coinage history. The mid-1960s marked the end of silver in U.S. quarters, and the 1966 quarter was part of this transition. Prior to 1965, quarters were made of 90% silver, but due to a nationwide silver shortage, the U.S. Mint switched to a copper-nickel composition starting in 1965. This change had a huge impact on coin collectors, and even today, people are often on the lookout for those older silver quarters. The 1966 Washington Quarter is composed of a copper core surrounded by a nickel outer layer. Its weight is about 5.67 grams with a diameter of 24.3 millimeters. Although it no longer contains silver, the design remains unchanged from the original 1932 version with George Washington's profile on the obverse and an eagle clutching arrows and olive branches on the reverse. A key feature of 1966 quarters is the lack of a mint mark. This was a deliberate move by the U.S. Mint to discourage collectors from hoarding coins during a time of coin shortages. In 1966, all quarters were produced at the Philadelphia Mint, and over 821 million of these coins were struck. That's a huge number. However, because of this high mintage and the lack of precious metal content, most 1966 Washington quarters are still found in circulation today. Now, let's talk about a few key factors that can affect the value of a 1966 quarter. While most 1966 Washington quarters are worth just their face value of 25 cents, there are some exceptions that can raise their value. Let's go over a few important factors. As with most coins, condition is everything. Quarters that have been in circulation and show significant wear are generally worth their face value. However, uncirculated quarters or those in near perfect condition, known as mint state, can fetch higher prices. For example, a 1966 quarter in MS65 condition, which means it's a nearly perfect mint state, can be worth between $10 and $20 and $20. Error coins are always popular with collectors, and the 1966 quarter has a few interesting ones. One of the most sought after errors is the double die, where the design appears to have been struck twice, leading to noticeable doubling of features. These error coins can sell for $100 or more, depending on the severity of the doubling in the coin's overall condition. Unlike some other years, there were no official proof sets released in 1966 due to minting changes. Instead, the U.S. Mint produced special mint sets SMS that year, which were higher quality coins with a semi-proof-like finish. These coins can be worth significantly more, especially if they are in pristine condition with values ranging from $15 to $50 or more for higher grades. 1984 Washington Quarter Fast forward to 1984, and this particular quarter isn't much different from its earlier counterparts in design. By this time, the U.S. 
Mint had already transitioned to using copper nickel clad compositions instead of silver. This shift happened in 1965 due to rising silver prices. So if you're holding a 1984 Washington quarter, it's made from an outer layer of copper nickel bonded to a pure copper core dot. Let's take a closer look at the design. The obverse or front features a left-facing portrait of George Washington. Above his head is the word liberty. While in God we trust is inscribed on the left side. At the bottom, you'll find the year 1984. On the reverse side, we have the familiar eagle with wings spread out, holding arrows in its talons, representing strength and defense. Beneath the eagle is a laurel wreath symbolizing peace. Around the edge are the inscriptions United States of America and Quarter Dollar Classic, elegant and timeless. Now let's talk about mint marks. The 1984 Washington Quarter was struck in three different locations, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. Each mint is represented by a mint mark, which you can find just to the right of Washington's ponytail on the obverse side. Coins minted in Philadelphia have no mint mark, while those from Denver will display a small D San Francisco minted quarters Baroness mint mark, and these are usually proof coins intended for collectors rather than circulation. Now. The big question, what's the value of the 1984 Washington Quarter? The value of this coin largely depends on its condition and whether it has any unique characteristics like mint errors. For quarters that have been in circulation, their value is typically just their face value, 25 cents. However, uncirculated quarters or those in mint condition can be worth more. A mint state 1984 quarter graded MS65 or higher can fetch between $5 and $10 depending on the market. Proof coins struck in San Francisco are even more valuable due to their sharp details and mirror like finishes. A proof 1984S quarter could be worth between $5 and $15 in the end depending on condition. 1996 Washington quarter. The Washington quarter has been a staple of American currency since 1932, featuring the iconic portrait of George Washington on the obverse side. For the 1996 quarter, like other years, the obverse was designed by John Flanagan. The reverse features the familiar image of an eagle, symbolizing strength and freedom. Here are the key specs for the 1996 quarter. Composition 91.67% copper and 8.33% nickel. Weight 5.67 grams, diameter 24.26 mm. Edge reeded. Mint marks Philadelphia, no mint mark, Denver D and San Francisco S for proof coins. So how many were made? In 1996, millions of quarters were produced, but here's a breakdown by mint. Philadelphia, 925,040,000. Denver, 906,868,000. San Francisco proof clad, 2 million. San Francisco proof silver, 775,021. As you can see, these mintage numbers are pretty high, especially for the Philadelphia and Denver mints. That means this quarter is relatively common, at least in circulated condition. Now, let's talk value. For most circulated 1996 quarters, their worth is usually just face value minus 25 cents. These are quite common and don't have any rare errors or variations. However, if you come across a quarter in your perfect condition, like an uncirculated coin, its value can increase. An uncirculated 1996 Washington Quarter graded MS65 can be worth around $10 to $15. If it's in higher grades like MS67 or MS68, the value can climb even higher, reaching $60 to $100 depending on the market. 1982 Washington Quarter By 1982, the quarter was a staple in American currency, known for its distinctive design and significance in everyday transactions. In 1982, three mint facilities produced quarters Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. The total mintage for the Washington quarter in that year is as follows. Philadelphia, 100 million. Denver, 105 million. San Francisco, 3,952,000 image of proof coin. Notably, the San Francisco mint produced proof coins, which are highly sought after by collectors due to their brilliant finish now. Let's talk value. The 1982 Washington quarter is generally worth face value minus 25 cents if it's in circulation. However, uncirculated or proof versions can be worth significantly more. Here's a quick breakdown. Circulated coins generally worth around 25 cents. Uncirculated coins range from $1 to $5 depending on the condition. Proof coins can fetch anywhere from $5 to $20 or more, particularly if graded by professional services like NGC or PCGS. If you're looking to start your collection, here are some tips. First, always check the condition of the coin. Look for wear and tear. Coins that have been well-preserved hold much more value. Use a magnifying glass to inspect for any unique features or errors, which can also affect value. And don't forget to keep your coins stored properly to avoid damage. Beyond its monetary value, the 1982 quarter carries historical significance. 
It represents an era in American coinage where traditional designs were still favored, and it connects us to the legacy of George Washington. 1986 Washington Quarter The Washington Quarter was first issued in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. Since then, it has become one of the most iconic coins in U.S. history. The design features a profile of George Washington on the obverse, while the reverse showcases an eagle and the inscriptions United States of America in E Pluribus Unum. Now let's take a closer look at the 1986 Washington Quarter specifically. This coin was part of the 50 State Quarters program, which began in 1999. However, 1986 is significant for a different reason. It marked the 50th anniversary of the quarter's design, a design that has remained largely unchanged for decades. Let's talk about the specifics. The 1986 Washington Quarter was minted in Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. Each of these mint marks can affect the coin's value. Here's a breakdown. Philadelphia no mint mark, this is the standard version. Denver D mint mark minted in larger quantities. San Francisco S mint mark, this version is often found in proof sets. Now you might be wondering about their values. Generally the 1986 Washington Quarter is not rare and has a face value of 25 cents. However, its worth can vary based on its condition and mint mark. Here's a quick overview of the current market values. Circulated coins, these typically sell for around 25 to 50 cents. Uncirculated coins, these can range from $1 to $3 depending on the mint mark and overall quality. Proof coins, the San Francisco minted proofs can be valued at $5 to $10 or more, especially if they're graded highly. The value of coins can fluctuate due to collector demand and market trends. As of now, the 1986 Washington Quarter is still affordable for most collectors, making it a great entry point into numismatic stock. Before we wrap up, let's touch on some fun facts. Did you know that over 30 billion Washington Quarters have been minted since 1932? That's a staggering number, showcasing the coin's popularity. And as the designs have evolved, collectors often seek out specific years and mint marks, making even the more common coins like the 1986 Quarter interesting to collectors. 1988 Washington Quarter The 1988 Quarter features a familiar design with George Washington's profile on the obverse and an eagle on the reverse, representing strength and freedom. In 1988, the U.S. Mint produced approximately 1.6 billion quarters across three mint locations, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. This year's quarters are often seen in circulation, but there are notable varieties worth mentioning. The Philadelphia Mint produced quarters without a mint mark, while the Denver Mint marked its coins with a D. Additionally, the San Francisco Mint issued proof coins, which have a mirror-like finish and are sought after by collectors. Now, let's talk about value. The 1988 Washington Quarter in circulation is generally worth face value 25 cents. However, uncirculated and proof versions can command much higher prices. Grading plays a crucial role in determining a coin's value. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with higher numbers indicating better condition. For example, a well-preserved 1988 quarter could sell for $1 to $3, while proof coins can range from $3 to $10 or more, depending on their condition. While the 1988 quarter may not have the same historical significance as some other coins, it represents a period of stability in U.S. coinage. The design has remained consistent, and the quarter continues to be a staple in American currency. George Washington's legacy is not just reflected in this coin, it symbolizes the values of the nation, liberty, democracy, and perseverance. Each time you use or collect a quarter, you're holding a piece of history. 1983 Washington Quarter by 1983, the United States was experiencing a significant shift in coinage due to the rising cost of silver. Since 1965, quarters were no longer made of silver but rather a copper-nickel alloy. This change allowed the mint to produce coins more affordably while still maintaining their iconic look. The 1983 Washington Quarter Dollar Coin has a diameter of 24.26 mm and weighs 5.67 grams. The composition is 91.67% copper and 8.33% nickel. Unlike some years, this coin is not known for having any major minting errors, but let's talk about its value now. The value of a 1983 Washington Quarter in average circulated condition is around 25 to 50 cents. However, if you happen to find a quarter in uncirculated condition or with a specific mint mark, the value can increase significantly. Here are two primary mint marks for the 1983 Quarter P for Philadelphia and D for Denver. Both versions were produced in large quantities, but certain uncirculated coins can fetch prices of $1 to $3 or more at coin shops or auctions. If you're interested in collecting the 1983 Washington Quarter, here are a few tips. First, always check the condition of the coin. Coins with minimal wear and no scratches are preferred by collectors. Also, look for any unique characteristics or possible errors, although they're rare in this year. Condition matters. Inspect for wear and scratches. Check for mint marks. Look for P or D.
Educate yourself, use resources like coin guides or online databases. Here are a few fun facts about the 1983 Washington quarter. Did you know? First non silver coin, it's the first quarter minted entirely from non silver material since the 1960s. Part of the Statehood series, the quarter is part of the larger series that includes Statehood quarters minted from 1999 to 2008. Cultural significance, the Washington quarter symbolizes American heritage and is one of the most widely circulated coins in U.S. history. That wraps up our look at the 1983 Washington quarter dollar coin. From its rich history to its current value, this coin is a great example of American numismatic heritage. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more coin related content. Also, let us know in the comments if you have any 1983 quarters in your collection. Thanks for watching and happy collecting.